So in this video today, okay, we're going to be carrying on from Gaz's wiring diagrams where he's talking about feeding the switch, okay, but we're actually going to put that into practice, go through the connections in this switch, um, where we fed the switch in this extension that we're currently undertaking and maybe some of the benefits of feeding the switch as opposed to the old-fashioned free plate looping method. So as you can see here, okay, usually we used to maybe see in one brown and one blue conductor, this blue conductor being sleeved as a switching line. But because we've fed the switch now, we actually have three cables in here. Now that could be a feed in and then a feed out, but actually on this one it's not. So we've only got a feed in because this is the last point. But what we've done is because we've got two lighting points in this extension in this room, we're actually switching them separately. Now, originally the customer only wanted one switch to control both, but I always think it's standard practice for me anyway, um, and Eric, that if you're doing that, especially if you're feeding the switch, just run two separate cables down, and then all it means is you then have the option of switching both at a later date. Now they've actually, it's glad we did that because that changed the mind and wanted them switched separately. So as you can see, we've actually got all of our neutrals together, okay? which we just put into a, a Wago there, okay, along with our CPCs. And that leaves us with a permanent feed and two switching feeds, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the permanent feed into our common, okay? But because this is being switched for two separate lights, what we actually need to do is we need to bridge our connection across here. Now, what we could do is we could take this into a, a Wago as well, and then this one here, into a Wago, we could then bring a cable from the Wago into the first column and another cable from the Wago into the second column to give us our permanent feeds at the top of the switch. But what we're gonna do, okay, is we're actually gonna put in what we call a, brid a bridging wire, okay? Or just a little connection to take the permanent feed, doesn't matter which one the permanent feed comes into. And again, this is purely because when we operate one switch, one light will come on. And when we operate the other switch, another light will come up and then we can have both on or both off at the same time. Again, a benefit here, you imagine you have all of these conductors in a rose and pendant, the top of the ceiling, you've got your arms above you in the air, just makes life hard. Whereas now we're down. Another benefit really as well, if we wanted to introduce smart switching into the property, it could be that we actually need a neutral. Now we actually have that at the switch so we can utilize the neutral for smart switching. Switching line, switching line, and then we have a permanent feed with our bridge connection across the two commons to give both sides a permanent feed. Now, if you had a three gang switch, again, you could bridge again and again and again until needed. We had a permanent feed in, okay? This is the last point, so we didn't have one going out, so that is line and neutral CPC brought in. Okay, we took that into a common, and in this instance, we had to remember use a bridge wire across the commons, However, if we were just having a one gang light, that one connection would come into the common. And then what we've done here, we could have actually doubled up both switching lines into the, the L1, and then that would have allowed both to work on one switch. However, the customer decided to have a two gang switch, therefore we had to bridge across the top. So we have permanent feed in, and then we have a switching line of neutral, switching line of neutral going out. The benefit of this, my arms are not killing me. I've managed to work down at a nice level. And also, if we wanted to adapt this to a smart switch, we actually now have a neutral in play. We're going to be moving on to looking at what else we can feed from a switch. 